Tonight, you'll want to be on the lookout for a pest in the ocean this summer as well. Sea lice have been spotted now along the Gulf Coast. CBS 42 News reporter Britt Moore spoke to a biologist about sea lice and how it may affect your vacation. Jim, we hear more about sea lice around this time of the year. Now the water is warm and more people are out in it, especially along the Gulf Coast. Sea lice can get caught in swimming suits and t-shirts and then sting you. They can leave you with a very uncomfortable itching sensation, similar to a weak mosquito bite. Now sea lice are tiny offspring of jellyfish. They're about the size of a grain of pepper, and most people don't even realize it when they've been stung. Purple flags are now warning people along Santa Rosa the beach in Florida about the marine pests, but biologist Stephen Watt says don't worry, encountering sea lice won't harm you. They're just something to be aware of. It's really not a threat whatsoever. These have been around as long as we all have been going to the beach. Occasionally there'll be an outbreak, as they call it, because there'll be a nice reproductive event from these jellyfish, and there'll be a larger than usual number of larvae present. Now, that's not the case right now. Watts hasn't noticed an abnormally high sea lice population this summer, so an outbreak is not a concern. Now, if you happen to get stung, doctors suggest taking a shower when you get out of the water. If you experience any extreme itching, a hydrocortisone topical solution should ease the discomfort. Now, any concerns of sea lice are temporary, though. They'll be gone once things cool off towards the end of the summer. Reporting live from the newsroom, Britt Moore, CBS 42 News.